right let's look at reciprocals basically um reciprocals or, or finding reciprocals are just turning numbers upside down um, but sometimes um, particular numbers can be a little bit confusing so this method sometimes feels a little bit like overkill if you just have a bog standard whole number that you're finding the reciprocal of but it always works and I like things that always work right so if you have whatever number it is and you write it as a fraction um, in the form a over b so say for example your number was three three as a fraction is three over one then if you just turn your fraction upside down that will um, be the reciprocal okay so i've written out some examples here and i've written i've written out how i'm starting my answer just to, to speed this up a little bit so it's not too um doesn't drag on too long but if we want to find the reciprocal of seven then um, if we're following the rules up above um, and we have to write it as a fraction first, seven we can write as seven over one and then we just turn that upside down. So the reciprocal of seven is going to be whatever this is upside down, which is one over seven. Now, if I'm doing this in class, quite often I would write that as, so I would write a with seven and I rewrite that as seven over one and then I would just do a wee arrow to one over seven. I would never use an equal sign because 7 over 1 is not equal to 1 over 7. Yeah? But for now I'm going to stick just with writing the sentence. Okay? So 3 over 4 is already in the form A over B. So the reciprocal of 3 over 4 is 4 over 3. Now, I wouldn't really leave that like that. I would change that into a mixed number. So that's 1 and a third. 1.4. So to do it, we're going to have to change that into a fraction. So um, 1.4, we can write as 1.4 over 1, which is 14 over 10. Oh, I wish I'd left myself room. Let me see. 1.4 over 1, I would rewrite that as 14 over 10. And then I can change that by turning it upside down. 10 over 14. Um, which can simplify down to five sevenths. Hopefully that was clear enough. Um, if I was doing my little arrow method for that, I'll do it. I've got room down at the bottom of the page. If I was doing the arrow method, I would be writing one point four over one equals fourteen over ten goes to ten over fourteen, which is equal to five sevenths. Yeah, I think that's a little bit clearer. Um, and a wee sneaky one here at the end. Zero, the reciprocal of zero is, it, it's impossible. So we would write undefined there. So the reciprocal of zero is undefined. You can't divide by zero. It just gives you infinity. Okay. Another little fact which I um, forgot to write down here is that if you multiply a number by its reciprocal, you will always end up with one. Okay, so any number multiplied by its reciprocal will always give you 1. So for example, if we had 3, 3 multiplied by its reciprocal, which would be a third, 3 times a third, gives you 1. Um, that will always, 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 always work out. Okay, next up is upper and lower bounds. Woohoo!